Hi, we're cooking pizza, Bianco, and this is Susie from Demos Down Under. Hit the like button and away we go. This is how easy it is to make your best pizzas ever, okay? The Thermomix just does it in no time at all. So we'll start cooking. Follow the green dots. Line, it tells you every little step. Line your baking trays, but we're going to use our pizza Havana oven today. Okay, put your garlic in. It says two, but load her up. Who doesn't like a bit of garlic? Um, three sprigs of rosemary, already pulled off for you. Now, when you do do your sprigs, just hold it from the top and pull down. You'll be left with these nice sticks, which are awesome on a barbecue. Put some chicken on there and have a skewer. You can dry those out ready for use, so no need to buy them anymore. Put your lid on with the MC measuring cup in. Okay, turn speed selector to seven. Bang. Now we're just blitzing that. It's finally chopping all those. You can have a look inside and see if it's chopped to your liking. If you would like it chopped more, okay, that looks quite good. You can scrape down the sides and chop it that little bit more. So it's grated twice. There we are. Now put that, scrape that into a bowl and set aside. Okay, following right along. 220 grams of water. Tear your scales, make sure they're at zero when you start. Okay. I use lukewarm water. Teaspoon of raw sugar. Now it's also great with molasses if you like molasses or honey you can put in your pizza as well. Some dried yeast. Just be careful not to put it on top of your blades. You really want that yeast inside on the water and not stuck in the blades. Okay, turn dial to speed one. Now there is a little catch here. So I couldn't go past that speed one, okay? Unless I choose to now. So now it's just um, temperature correcting the water to 37 degrees. Soon it'll show me just above the 37 when it reaches 37 degrees. Now, doing the pizza in your own Thermomix, you know exactly what's gone into your bases. You can put in whatever you like. You can make your own Thermomix dough if you prefer. And if you wanted to do that, you could press the little house button, scan across here, Use the scales to weigh in all your ingredients. And then you could just click one of these modes here, which is dough mode, and select a time for how long you'd like your dough needed for. So that's if you had your own recipe you wanted to follow. Or you could also upload it now on Cookie Do and use your own recipes with the guided cooking, which I'm loving that. I've got about 16 recipes now. Um, all these other modes are just so easy to use. So you simply just select which mode you want, put your ingredients in and away you go. So you've got a blending function, a cleaning function, turbo, dough, scales, egg boiler, kettle, warm up, thicken, rice cooker, fermentation. So you can make your own yogurts, slow cook, sous vide, and the potato pillar, which is fabulous new addition. So the Thermomix is always, um, upgrading so the software on this is so advanced german made technology 16 gig hard drive of memory on the big tablet on the screen here um, very easy to read very easy to use okay so we'll go back to the recipe by pressing the little green book and it's we're just coming up to the end it's at 37 degrees see how it's got that 37 there and we're ready for the next stage okay so baker's flour, 400 grams of baker's flour. In she goes, getting it everywhere. There we go. 30 of olive oil. I use extra um, virgin olive oil. It's nice and light. 
If you don't have olive oil, just use whatever oil you have. Okay, a bit of salt. Now this is <laughs> my own um, harvest salt from when we were traveling. And two minutes of kneading. So it's already programmed the kneading function for you. You do not have to go into the modes and select that either. When you're choosing to use the guided cooking from Cookie Doo, all the recipes have the modes already inbuilt into the recipe. So it's all you really have to do is hit next, next, next and turn that dial. That's really as simple as it is. When the Thermomix beeps at you, you come back, see what it wants, turn the dial and then go off and do something else. So it's just rocking around there. That's fine. Don't leave your Thermomix on its own when you're on dough mode. I do have it on our fabulous glider board, which does keep it more secure than rocking around on your bench. Um, the glider boards are available at the mix shop for $149. Um, please, if you're going to shop, please put in my ID, 124188, or Susie Van Stripe as your consultant, the one who's inspired you today. Transfer the dough onto a mat. So you get these mats. <coughs> excuse me, for um, hosting a demo, you can choose to get um, the dough mats. Here's the dough. Look at this dough. It's absolutely soft and gorgeous. If you're in a super duper hurry, you really could just roll that out and use it now. <clears throat> but I will let that prove. Okay, it could prove in here it's already nice and warm you could leave it in there and prove that way you're not making any more mess no more dishes but if you're going to use your thermomix for something else you don't want it holding up um, that real estate <laughs> so i just roll it into a nice ball pop it on our thermo mat like so wrap it up loosely and then put it somewhere nice and warm and let it prove for about half an hour to an hour until it's doubled in size so that's really quite loose in there. And when I come back, it will be full. Okay, easy peasy. That's how we do our dough, guys. You think you can manage that? Why not give it a try? You're interested in getting your Thermomix? Uh, please look me up, Susie Van Stripe. Demo's down under. I'd just like to show you another way you can prove your dough. When you purchase the Thermomix, you also get the Varoma, this big steaming dish that sits on top of the Thermomix. So I've just popped some hot water <clears throat> in the jug and now I'm going to pop the, the lid directly onto the Thermomix and the Varoma on top of that. And now I'm going to pop my pre-wrapped bread base therm, um, pizza dough in the top of the Varoma, just like so, put the lid on, and then I'm gonna go into our modes and select fermentation, um, and select a time. <clears throat> so I think 45 minutes is probably enough, or an hour, go an hour, and 70 degrees will be great. And just need to turn that dial and we're done okay so we'll just leave that on for an hour I'll come back in about 45 minutes and see how it's growing and we should be right to put it in the Ovana pizza oven which I will also do a video of showing you how fast the Ovana cooks pizzas 1 minute 30 I shit you not <laughs> tune in to the next one my next video of cooking the pizza in the Ovana pizza oven Remember to hit the like button. Thanks, guys. Happy thermomixing.